We're at uh, Rivlin Water Treatment Works this morning. Um, from here, water travels by gravity to um, really the, from the western side of Sheffield to the eastern side. Feeds approximately 319,000 properties. We have a scheme at the moment to improve uh, water quality within uh, the areas of Sheffield from the west to the east. Um, as a result really of uh, dis some discoloration incidents that we've had over the last few years, we have um, a drinking water uh, inspectorate undertaking which basically asks us to provide water to customers of a given standard and clearly the incidents that we've received over the last few years uh, have meant that we haven't done that so this work is is essentially around improving water quality and we're working very closely with um, Sheffield Highways and others to minimise disruption to customers. We realise that Sheffield's got a PFI scheme to undertake very shortly and we need to get our work done before that PFI scheme starts. The year 2011 Virtually every road in Sheffield is going to be resurfaced and this is going to be costing about 700, 750 million pounds. So therefore, we don't want to be going back and re-digging up roads that's just been relayed, resurfaced. We have regular meetings with Sheffield Highway so they know what, how our work's progressing and we understand what the timescales are as well for them to come in and do the work alongside us. In terms of the history of of the water network. We started off with uh, unlined pipes and then lined, and then pipes that were lined with um, bitumen. Uh, we then progressed onto cement in the sort of 1940s and 50s and most recently over the last sort of 20 or 30 years we've been relining pipes with epoxy and now a new polyurethane paint that we'll be using on this particular scheme. The network that we're working on at the moment has been previously re rehabilitated in the 1950s. Um, unfortunately, uh, prior to any sort of real quality control, this has resulted in uh, poor quality linings that we're finding as we're doing the exploratory investigation work. This is a rehabilitation technique that looks to remove the deposits that are inside the pipe and realign them with a new polyurethane material which generally has a 50 to 60 years asset life. The first thing we need to do before we start the work is to come and talk to customers and explain to them what the work entails. We normally do that either through customer forums or writing to customers or personal visits to explain to them what the work is so they know what to expect before we arrive on site. We have to notify police, ambulance, fire brigades of any closures, diversion routes. These, now these are posted on an internet website every week. There's actually three phases to the project, with the final phase being completed uh, in June 2012. The first phase of work is to bring clean water from the, uh, the Rivlin network. Uh, works will progress from there in an eastward direction uh, across the city, not actually going through the city but to the south of the city, picking up the areas of, um, of Whirlow and ultimately ending at uh, Oak Service Reservoir. Well, as you can see from this site, there's a lot of impact on the customers. There's big holes outside the houses. So what we do when we're undertaking work like this is we liaise very closely with the residents before we start the work. We go through all the drawings, look where we think we're going to have problems. Obviously, once the work starts, we continue that dialogue with customers, keeping them informed on progress of the work. We mark all the pits out, place them where we think they're going to cause the least problems. This is what it's all about. We have uh, an existing 12-inch pipe that was lined in the 1950s with cement. Um, conventional methods for uh, scraping the debris out of the pipe um, will not remove this kind of material. So we've had to develop an high pressure jetting system to remove it before we, uh, we realign with polyurethane paint. The mains have been in since, some have been in since 1900. The records aren't as accurate as they would be today's standards. So a lot of it is trial and error. Generally when we pull up on, uh, on a street um, on a Monday morning, uh, we excavate um, holes to get access to the pipe. Generally these are at 150 metre intervals. Um, you're likely to see us on the street um, for up to a week in some, some locations um, as we progress down, down the street, digging holes, cleaning the pipe, lining the pipe, then backfilling the holes and, and moving on to new sections. If you go too hard, it'll cut through the pipe. This is things used for blowing bridges down and hydro demolition. So we just need to tweak it. It's probably a bit fierce for the action of the job at the minute, but we'll get it, we'll get it.
The project is a very long project in that we're here until 2012, so we've got a lot of pipe to get in the ground, a lot of pipe to refurbish and a lot of impact on customers, so we need to ensure that we get the right approach up front. The work has been done as quickly as possible. It's imperative that we, we all pull together. The scheme will benefit 319,000 customers when the work is complete. They can visit our website at any time and we'll make sure that real-time live information is on there to keep them informed on progress of the work but ultimately they will benefit from us being here. Discoloration has been a problem in this part of Sheffield for a number of years, we're all aware of that. This scheme is aimed at removing that uh, for the future benefit of, uh, of customers in the area. I'd just like to thank them for uh, the patience and cooperation while we are here.